What is up everybody? This is Lyle with No Hippie Trucking and Transportation coming at you from Winter Haven, Florida. I'm telling you boy, this weather is hotter than the 36 Chambers album. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, listen, well, let's talk about this load I got first. So, uh, I already got pre-planned for my next load. Like I had mentioned earlier, what we are picking up is going to be heavy and cheap. So we're going to be taking this load out of Florida uh, about a thousand miles for about a thousand forty nine dollars going up to uh, Kentucky uh, it's a real good reload area out there so I'm not really going to be hating too much on that uh, gets me out of Florida now the tricky thing about this load especially being in Florida with the time of day that this next load picks up it picks up anywhere between now and uh midnight let's see yeah between now and midnight it's trying to find parking in florida is damn near gonna be impossible so what am i gonna do what i'm gonna do so I'm gonna let them unload me here then go take this to get some fuel in it with the reefer then I'm gonna go hit up our Auburndale Florida yard sit out there for about depending on what time I get out of here sit out there for at least two three hours kind of stall that clock a little bit and then uh, then hit the road and kind of go from there because I have picked up at this place and have gone to actually Kentucky and leaving out of there unless you find a place that's seriously in the cut there is like absolutely nothing you're gonna find out there uh, for at least a good couple hundred you know probably even more than that miles so that's my plan on that but you know what listen backing up is hard enough to do as it is okay I'm sitting out here and this is a prime driver too if you happen to be watching this prime driver sorry but uh, man backing in at Walmart is taking quite a bit of time for this guy to back in quite enough time to where the uh, yard dog is getting a little bit upset and upset enough to where he steps out of his little thing rolls his eyes at me goes to the back of his truck and opens up his doors which I think he was planning on doing once he kind of got lined up in the spot but this driver was taking so long so I'm really not thinking anything about it you know I'm like repping prime I'm like you know could be a new student well he still might be a new student but then when I saw what was going on had a phone in his hand talking on the phone when he's trying to back in and I'm telling you it took a good you know these Walmart DCs this one might be a little bit I think this is a standard Walmart DC where you there's enough space between the docks to where you could open up the doors like in the dock so plenty of room and it took you know a good like seven minutes something like that to get in and in the mean you know in the whole while on the phone so I don't know uh, packing's hard enough as it is just focus 100% on that there's a reason why when you get in these trucks and you want to bump that protect your neck or whatever you happen to be listening to at the time you know maybe a little bit of uh what was I just listening to the other day I usually don't listen to to music when I'm driving but you know I, I think I was listening to a little Led Zeppelin but uh anyway there's a reason why when you throw this thing in reverse the music turns off you know what I'm saying 100% focus is needed on it but anyway that's about it I'm gonna wait to get loaded out here and uh, wipe my forehead off so I'm not glistening like Johnson's logic on, on video go check out his channel Johnson's logic he could tell you about the ups and downs the trials and tribulations of being a driver at the ink anyway I'm gonna come back here rest my loins a little bit and then uh, try to plan out how I'm gonna do this run here should I go to the yard first 
then leave and get fuel? Or should I get fuel first, then go to the yard? You know what I'm saying? Because Florida truck stops can get a little congested uh, during these daytime hours. It's not really day. It's like four. Actually, it's around right when it would really be busy. I'm rambling on. Hate to do that. Anyway, thanks for stopping by New Hippie Trucking and Transportation. I appreciate it. Comment, subscribe, and I'm out.